How to mentally prepare yourself for university as an international student. It can be daunting, right? You're going away to a new school, you're going away to a new place. How do you actually mentally prepare yourself for such a huge change that's gonna be taking place in your life? Now, it may sound difficult, but there are so many things that you can do. One of the things I recommend you do is have a plan for how often you're gonna call your family because one of the things that's really gonna to get to you depending on you know the relationship you have with people back home is how often you actually get to speak with them because you're gonna spend a lot of time making new friends and if there's a bit of a language barrier or a bit of a cultural barrier, it's gonna take you some time to get adjusted and to feel comfortable, you know, feel like you're actually close to those people because it's much more than just making friends. You can make friends. That's fine but it's about having those relationships and cultivating those relationships that you feel are meaningful and that can take even longer than it takes to make friends because you can be surrounded by a group of people you can have a hundred friends and you can still feel lonely and that the biggest thing is you haven't cultivated that relationship that comfort that closeness and that familiarity so that's going to take some time and as you're getting used to that as you're making that transition as an international student it's very important to have a plan of action are you gonna you know call your family every day every night are you gonna call them once a week maybe you only you want to call them once a month. Maybe it doesn't matter to you and there are other parts of organization and getting adjusted that you care about. Not really the homesickness, but the logistics. So the second you get there, have a plan for what grocery items you're gonna pick up and what you're gonna bring. So if there are spices that you wanna bring or if there's things that you may not be able to get either inexpensively or easily where you're going, you should bring that from home. You may also wanna bring a good you know, steamer, rice cooker, whatever you wanna to use to cook food instead of buying it up front in the new country that you're gonna be going to as an international student. Those things can help you, but I would create your shopping list before you even go even two months beforehand what do you want to do what's your exercise regimen going to be like what's your diet going to be like all these things are going to mentally prepare you and give you a schedule another thing i recommend doing is getting a scheduler or something that's gonna allow you to plan your day. Whether it's digital or analog on a piece of paper, you have to find a way to schedule your day. Are you gonna be doing that in a notepad? Are you gonna be doing that online, digitally? How are you gonna do that? Figure out a way to do that and create yourself a daily schedule, Monday to Friday, seven days of the week, and have a monthly outlook if you can. There are different ways to do it, but I recommend looking up bullet journaling. I may make a video on that later on. I do a very, you know, condensed, easy form of bullet journaling journaling. I don't you know, draw pictures and stuff. I just, you know, a friend showed it to me. It was super useful and I use that now. And I also use an application called Wonderlist. So creating what you're going to do every day, your daily plans, how you're going to call your family and what you're going to have when you arrive there are good. The next thing I want you to do is to have a piece of paper with at least five items on the goals you want to accomplish by the end of the school year because you're an international student maybe you're just going to work maybe you're not an actual student but what are five things you want to accomplish try to think different portions of life try to think of like um different portions of life try to think of like um fitness so health what, how healthy you want to be what do you want to look like uh maybe you want your diet to be better maybe you want to get better at running i think health is important maybe you just want to eat better maybe you want to eat less maybe you want to eat more i don't know Try to find that as a goal. Financial goal, how much you wanna save? Where do you wanna live? What things do you wanna have? That's a good goal. Generally, how much you wanna save is much better than what do you wanna have because you don't wanna spend on so many things. They're not gonna make you happy. You wanna be able to actually save and start a life, create a living. So try to have a savings goal in mind. Next thing, something to push you outside of your comfort zone. What are you gonna do after you're done? Are you gonna go on a big trip? Are you going to you know, uh, solo travel? Are you going to take a train and go from one part of Canada to the other part of Canada? Are you going to, like, what's a goal that's going to take you outside of your comfort zone, but it's also fun? Maybe it can be like, hey, meet 10 friends. Maybe it could be say, say hi to everybody, like, uh, almost every morning of the year. Something that's trackable and quantifiable, but something that's also going to take you outside of your comfort zone and allow you to grow. So when you have this list of goals, you have, you know, you're going there with things that are familiar and comfortable with you, and you have that route of communication, that, that path to be able to speak to people back home, it's really going to make everything easier for you in that transition. And that's probably the best way to mentally adjust. The rest is all just time and, you know, joining communities like we have here. I have a Facebook group for international students moving to Canada and it's different than other 
international student groups because it's specifically a support group. We will give you help and advice, but it's also, you know, mental and emotional support for being in a different country. And you can speak to people who are just like you, and if we get enough members, you could probably find somebody in that group within your community. So let's keep growing it. I'm dropping it in the description below. So be sure to subscribe as we make more videos for international students, and check out that group. There's going to be a lot of helpful tips and tricks there, and we're here to help you. I wish you the best moving to wherever you're moving to as an international student. Be sure to subscribe, and we'll talk to you soon.